that's what Paul, Paul in Florida, uh, which we are praying for everybody's safety in yes, Florida. Yes, thoughts and prayers to everybody in Florida with the next with the next one coming too. So sorry about the devastation that's happened. Austin, Terrible. thank you so much for your time. This has been amazing. Really connected with a lot of the things that you were saying. Kind of my metaphor for life is the university of adversity. So I really uh, connected with a lot of things you said. One of the things that I found is that I think a lot of times people look at things from an if perspective when what I found in my experience is it kind of becomes a matter of when. And I'm really wondering yeah. for you, like when things get tough, one of the greatest traits that they say to success is the ability to endure. When things are really challenging for you, how are you able to endure? Yeah, thanks for your question, man. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think two thoughts. One, um, the if, when thing first, um, what you said, it's really interesting that you, that you brought that up. You know, one thing I always try to think about was it's not going to be great if I make it to Michigan. It's not going to be great if I walk. not going to be great if I learn to shoot, learn to run, learn to get back in school, learn to do anything. It's not going to be great if I, it's going to be great when. It's going to be great when I do. And I think to, to give yourself the right to have that mindset, though, you got to do the work because it doesn't just happen. Like having, a, having the right mindset is very important, but that alone doesn't do anything. I mean, my, a, a mindset without action is just a mindset, right? But a mindset plus action equals results, generally speaking. Um, but yeah, so but, but when but when challenges, because obviously they still come, you know, challenges always come. It's part of life. Um, and I just look at it as, as, as finding a different way to win. So it's like Coach Beeline always talked about, um, like we, we, we always had these really great scouting reports for, to prepare for teams, you know, UCLA, Arizona, Duke, Carolina, Michigan State, Ohio, like all of these great schools. We'd have these great scouting reports. But the other teams would always do something you don't expect. Life's always going to do something we don't expect. So you just got to be, have some adaptability and be, and be willing to find a different way to win. And that's kind of how I look at my life too. It's like, right. So, so if winning before the second plane crash would have been going to Michigan, hopefully have, being a good player there, helping the team win championships, maybe have a chance to play after, after college, who knows? But if, if I couldn't do that, go to medical school, be a doctor, practice with my dad. That was the, that was the game plan. That was winning before. The second plane crash happened. We had to adapt. You had to find a different way to win. It's not lowering the standards of winning. It's just finding a different way to win, right? And so I think, I think kind of having that understanding that um, having like the if then uh, or or if when you know mentality like you like you talked about, it, you might not achieve it exactly how you originally wanted to. Like right after you experience adversity, you might have to adapt a little bit. You may have to try to find a different way to win, but you can still find a way. You can still find a way. So. Hope that answers your question. Yeah, incredible. And I just want to say that impossible equals impossible. And your story is a testament to that. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it.